Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll explain example of energy and verification by Parseval's energy theorem. So to have understanding of verification by Parseval's energy theorem, I have a question where we are a little bit to identify energy and we are a little bit to verify that by Parseval's energy theorem for signal x of t is equals to e to the power minus 4t u of t. So let us calculate this energy first by basic formula and then we will verify it with Parseval's energy theorem. So basically energy of x of t that we can calculate as per basic formula integration from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of t whole square dt. Now we will place this x of t in this basic formula. So you will be getting this energy will be integration from minus infinite to infinite e to the power 4t u of t whole square dt. Now if you square this then you will be finding this will become e to the power minus 8t and u of t square is what u of t dt. Now see u of t is what unit step signal. So this unit step signal is varying from 0 to infinite with value 1. So that will change its limit from minus infinite to infinite to 0 to infinite as from minus infinite to 0 its u of t is equals to 0. So this integration limit will change and now instead of minus infinite to infinite now it will be 0 to infinite e to the power minus 8t dt and now if you integrate this you will be finding this integration will be e to the power minus 8t divided by minus 8 and limit is from 0 to infinite. Now if you place these limits e to the power minus infinite that is 1 by infinite means 0 so first limit will result into 0 minus e to the power minus 0 divided by minus 8 so e to the power 0 is 1 and minus minus will get plus so this value will be 1 by 8 so energy calculation by basic formula minus infinite to infinite x of t square dt that is 1 by 8 over here now we are a little bit to identify verification by using Parseval's theorem. So what is Parseval's theorem? Parseval's theorem explains energy based on Fourier transform of x of t and that energy calculation that could be done <coughs> by using 1 by 2 pi integration from minus infinite to infinite mode of x of omega square d omega. So basic formula is based on integration of time domain but by using Parseval's theorem energy is 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinite to infinite x of omega square d omega. So here we have x of t that is e to the power minus 4t u of t first we need to calculate x of omega. Now see basically we know the Fourier transform of basic formula so Fourier transform of e to the power minus a t u of t that is 1 by a plus j omega. So as per that we can have x of omega based on x of t. So here we will be having x of omega and that is here a is equals to 4 so we can place that and you will be getting x of omega is a plus j omega and a is 4 so I need to place 4 plus j omega. Now see here we have this formula where x of omega square is there so we need to square we need to take magnitude of it so x of omega whole square that will be 1 divided by it is like 1 by a plus jb that will be a square plus b square so here it will be 4 square plus omega square and this value that we can place it in this 
integration and we can have energy. So energy as per Parseval's theorem, now that will be 1 by 2 pi integration from minus infinite to infinite 1 by 4 square plus omega square d omega. Now basically this integration will resolve energy calculation and basic formula of integration for a divided by a square plus omega square is tan inverse omega by a. So if I compare that like see the basic formula of integration a divided by a square plus omega square d omega that is tan inverse omega by a. So I need to form this formula in this way so that I can have this integration solution. So all I can do is I can multiply 4. So see this will be 1 by integration minus infinite to infinite. Now I am doing this, this adjustment. So here a is 4 right so I need to multiply 4 and divide 4. So if I multiply 4 here I will be dividing 4 here. So 2 into 4 that is 8 pi. So this is how I have done this adjustment by multiplying and dividing 4 with this equation. So now this integration that will be 1 by 8 pi into this integration will be tan inverse omega by 4 and limit varies from minus infinite to infinite. Now if you place these limits tan inverse infinite minus tan inverse minus infinite that will be the limit which I have placed here. So if you see this further tan inverse infinite is pi by 2. minus tan inverse minus infinite is minus pi by 2. So pi by 2 minus minus pi by 2 is plus pi by 2. So this is what pi and this pi and this pi will get cancelled. So your energy calculation will be 1 by 8. So you can see both answers are same. So we can verify energy calculation by using Parseval's theorem on E1. Sometimes in examination you will be finding function is given in terms of time domain. In that case, one can use this formula. And sometimes you will be finding in examination function is given in terms of frequency domain. So if function is given in terms of frequency domain, then one can go for Parseval's theorem for a calculation of energy. So both formulas are correct. And by having both formula, you will be having same energy only thing is you will have to see which formula is giving you easier way and based on that one can go for it. Sometimes you will be finding by using Parseval's theorem example is getting easier. Sometimes it may be the case where by time domain calculation you can have easier way of calculation. So accordingly you should choose a way to have a calculation of example. I hope that you have understood this session you can give your valuable feedback. And here one more thing that I would like to share. You can go through my application Engineering Funda where all the sessions that I have took it here based on signal and system that is available in form of PDF so that students can have easier way of access of all those documents which I am teaching here and even so many other subjects which I have completed online on YouTube channel. Based on that even so many documents that I have prepared for interview viva question as well as for gate examination and for university examination even some material that I have prepared which I have uploaded it on my application. So you just go through my application name is engineering funda. So this application that I have prepared for students and from where all the students can access material link of this application that is there in description of all videos from where directly you can download that in application and after sign up you can access all material free of cost.
so just go through it you can have material and by using that you can access all lectures so fast so just to reduce learning time i have made this application for students thank you so much for watching this video